when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. Today in this video, we'll be covering another custom ROM which is based on Android 13 and it's called Extended ROM. We have installed it on a OnePlus 9 and we'll talk about all the features, gaming, battery backup and other things. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9 on which I have installed Extended ROM based on Android 13. If you talk about the software information here, you can go to about section, tapping on Android version, Android version is 13, extended version is 3.5 and this is right now based on December security patch. I have spoken to developer, they will be soon releasing the Jan security patch. And this ROM is quite stable, along with that it comes with a lot of customization options. So we'll talk about them also in this video. First let's take a look at the benchmark results also. And guys trust me, I got better benchmark results on this customer custom room if I compare it with the stable version of Oxygen OS 13. With Geekbench application single core had scored 1084 and multi core had scored 3379. When it comes to CPU throttling, I have seen on OnePlus smartphones running Oxygen OS 13 that a lot of throttling issues are to be seen. But on this ROM, I did not find any kind of throttling issues. You can see maximum CPU throttled up to 91%. And guys, before moving ahead, if you think our content is useful, then make sure to subscribe our channel and smash that like button. That will motivate us in making better content with quality. And again, on this ROM also, we don't get to see much of Google applications. Instead of that, we do have AOSP applications, for example, Dialer, AOSP Messenger, etc but one good thing on this custom room is instead of that AOSP camera you get to see oneplus top camera which is equally good on this custom room the pictures clicked with oxygen os camera on this custom room had similar quality i did not see any kind of difference in the picture quality if we click pictures on stock os or on this custom room and it's a really good part of this room that it comes with oxygen os stock camera pre-installed along with stock camera we also have the oneplus stock gallery application because most users ask about these things like they want to install custom room and along with that they want camera application and gallery application from stock os so developer have done that both these things can be found on this custom room and you can see 5G is also supported on this room. I have been using my Atel SIM card where you can see download speed is 591 Mbps and the upload speed is 83.5 and that's pretty good in my area. And we have also seen a lot of users requesting about Dolby Atmos on custom room. So yes, this room comes with the support of Dolby Atmos. You have a pre-installed application and Dolby Atmos obviously enhance the audio quality. Here in this application, there's a feature called Smart Audio and I seriously like that feature because it switched to loud speaker and depending on the situation wherein smart audio identifies the content and performs automatically adjustment to deliver the best sound it's a quite useful feature and i have seen a lot of difference if i'm using different headsets or tws but as always wideband security level is l3 on this room also it is very hard to get l1 on custom room there are few custom rooms which will be covering in upcoming days which do have the support of wideband security level as L1. But other than that, payment application like Google Pay, Paytm and other banking application do works fine. I've been using Google Pay on this custom room and I never faced any kind of issues related to the payments. Overall, UI is super fluid and I did not encounter any lag during my usage. So a great job done by developer here. Talking about the battery backup, so yes, battery backup is also good enough on this room. I've been getting an average of 3 to 4 hours of screen on time, which I also used to get on Oxygen OS 13. But one issue what you guys might face, because I have been facing on my OnePlus 9 after installing this room, the initial charging speed is quite good up to 50% and after that it drastically reduces. But in that case I spoke to developer and he told me to unplug the charger and replug it. I did the same way and charging speed was back to normal. So I don't know what's the exact issue here but if you are installing this ROM then you can try this method if you face any slow charging issues. And my gaming experience was also good 
good on this room i did play bgmi and on this room you do get the support of 90 fps if you don't get the support of 90 fps you can still get it by going to the extension feature going to extras and here we have a support of unlock higher fps in games so using this toggle you can enable 90 fps Overall gameplay was smooth enough, I did not see much of heating issues or frame drops while gaming. I don't use my OnePlus 9 as a primary phone, but to test out the gaming, I did play a few TDMs and I did not see any kind of lags. Gyroscope was performing good, no heating issues were seen or not even any kind of frame drops. Here's a small gameplay which you guys can take a look at. But remember one thing, there is no option to add Battleground Mobile India in the gaming dashboard. Because gaming dashboard on this custom ROM automatically identifies the game so if you add any other game or download any other game from play store that automatically gets added but battlegrounds mobile india will not be added automatically and there is no option to add it manually also and being on custom roam you still don't miss out the features like app lock so this feature is also added on this custom roam so in the settings you just have to search for app lock going to security tab and here there is an option called app lock using which you can protect the applications from unauthorized app access and log the application which consists of important data or which you don't want people to see on your device. And now let's talk about some of the customization options present on this custom room. So here on this custom room, there's a dedicated section in this settings page called extensions. Here there are some useful customization options and first one is under ambient decor. Then we do have the edge lightning feature. Good thing about this edge lightning feature is now you can get all four sides edge lightning when you receive any kind of notifications. But remember these things drains a little bit extra battery. And when we are talking about edge lightning, so there are multiple options to choose the color of edge lightning. It, you can add custom colors and also you can select the color depending on the application color. I mean to say the app icon color. And always on display is not limited. You can customize the always on display and set it as per your requirements. You can add text here. You can change the ambient font, ambient text color, ambient text size and also the alignment of text. One feature which I personally like here on this custom room and that's related to the notification. So if you go to lock screen here, we have an option called notification count. So that is lock screen notification count. So here you can set the manual count. For example, minimum value is one and maximum value is set up to six notifications. So if you want to keep your lock screen clean, you can set it to minimal. Or if you want to see maximum notifications on the lock screen, you can keep the count to six. And if you go to theme decor here under dark theme, you do get the option to choose different colors. Not only that pitch dark or that grayish color. If you go to theme color, there are a lot of options added by developer. And depending on your taste, you can choose any one of them. And I seriously use dark mode with different colors on this custom room during my usage. This is something different which I haven't seen on much of custom rooms. And developer have also added some OnePlus extras which includes customization of alert slider and touchscreen gestures. So guys, during my usage, I found out this room to be quite stable and none of the major bugs were encountered, little bit of minor issues which I have noticed during my usage and one that happened only once that was overheating of the device in idle condition that appeared. I just restarted the device and that thing got fixed after that. I never saw that issue on my OnePlus 9 running this extended room. So it's a good to go room. But remember, Widevine certification is L3. And if you wish to install this room, then you can follow the guide which is mentioned on XDA forum. So guys, this was a quick look on another great room called extended, which is based on Android 13. If you guys wish to try out that all the download links can be found in the description below. As I told you guys, it's good to go room. If you still have any kind of questions you guys can let us know in the comment section below or you can join our telegram group link of that can be found in the description below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day